must have a screw loose agreeing to do this. We gotta get the goods on Sonny, and wearing a wire is the best way to do it. Yeah, and if he finds out, he asks me on the spot. Sonny trusts you. Uh, not after I botched that order to eliminate Tommy Soto. Don't worry. Once Sonny incriminates himself, we're gonna arrest him, and this whole thing is gonna be over. Yeah, you know what? If I survive this whole thing, I'm gonna file an official protest. Yeah. In the meantime, just remember that uh, you can't turn the wire off. Okay, so be careful what you say and what you say it. This whole thing could blow sky high. I don't like this. Look, what's the problem? You've worn a wire before. Yeah, under very different circumstances. Yeah, when you weren't in so deep. Which is one of the reasons we gotta wrap up this case. You know, the, uh... The line's getting kind of blurred between your cover and who you really are. Here's where she's supposed to say, good job for getting further in the Corinthos organization than any cop has before. You're gonna stand there and tell me you're 100% objective about this case? Yeah, the man has kids. It's gonna be tough on them. Oh, so you admit that you, you empathize with Sonny Corinthos. Yeah, don't put words in my mouth. You know his family. Look, here you've gotten close with the youngest boy. Which is yet another reason why we gotta end this case before you start, like, covering for Corinthos instead of, you know, trying to bust them. Well, you want me to admit it? Fine. I like Morgan Corinthos. I hate that I'm gonna crush the kid's poor heart when I bust his father, but it doesn't change who Sonny is or what he does, and it doesn't change that I'm a cop, and my job is to bring Sonny down. Unless you go soft. You know what? Sonny Corinthos ordered the hit on Tommy Soto without even blinking. Right there, that one act alone proves why Sonny has to be stopped. He's not a law unto himself. He doesn't get to decide who lives and who dies. I'm gonna take Sonny down with or without a wire. You, uh, you wanna see me? Yeah. I need you to deliver some papers for me. Can you just give me one second, though? Hey, hey. I want you to, uh, uh give this to, uh, Olivia Falconeri at the uh, Metro Court. Um, tell her it's for the Michael Corinthians Jr. Foundation. Uh, you, you don't want to send Max or Milo to Do you have a problem with doing this for me? No, no, not at all. I just thought, you know, maybe my services... You know what? Are... After after last night, it's... Why would you even question anything I want you to do? You're right. Okay. You know, something else happened last night. What? I, you know, uh... Just wanted to uh, clear the air about that old Tommy Soto score. That's been handled. I thought you were on your way. Yeah, I am. I, I, people tell me I talk too much. They're probably right. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Nothing. Man. Claudia and I had a fight last night in front of Dominic. A fight about what? Olivia. Corinthos wanted me to drop this off for Miss Falcon Harry. Is this for me? Uh, yeah, it's uh, from the Michael Corinthos Foundation. Uh -huh. um, I'll let Mr. Corinthos know you received it. Oh, but wait, 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 um, why don't you let me take a look at these so I can see if I have any questions? Why haven't you returned any of my calls? What's the matter with you? Uh, Mr. Corinthos is hoping you can agree. This number. Um. Yeah. Uh, did tell Mr. Carventos to thank you for for dropping these by. I'll get to him as soon as possible. Hello. I need to see you, and I'm at the Metro Court Hotel in room 524. What are you up to now? I'll tell you when you get here. Sweet time, didn't you? You, uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? I want to see you in private. Huh. Well, you know what? Your house is pretty private. Uh -huh. Except for my husband. 
I don't really want him to know about it. I don't like uh, keeping secrets from my boss. Oh, is that right? Oh, you're